And uh, well, I'm a geology graduate, but the uh, the program that I liked was a seismic um, uh, course. So that's like geophysics. So there's geologists and there's the geophysicists, and those Math guys. Was together. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Every now and then. Um, so what I did was because I I kind of liked the project and I thought new challenge because um, geophysics is a little more maths than it is um, uh, yeah geography and chemistry and all of that. So I'm uh, doing right now. I'm looking at um, methane gas in the Vitz gold mines. Hmm. Okay. So when these guys are mining, uh, what happens is you know when you're drilling and you're drilling through rock. Um, imagine just going through a solid structure and you're drilling to get to whatever you're mining, right? Um, so what happens is, um, as they're mining, gas comes through um, sometimes. They, they hit a gas pocket, shall we call it, and that creates explosions and that costs the mine a whole lot of money. Yeah. So what I'm trying to do is uh, create... Okay, I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> Let's just, um, can you all see it, girls? Again. Okay, so this is, imagine, this is what seismic is. Imagine um, an x-ray of the earth. So that's what it essentially is. So what I'm doing is, I'm looking at an x-ray of the earth, and at a particular depth, these guys mine a particular reef or, or gold at a certain depth. And what I'm doing is, I'm trying to find um, structures or spaces in in the block where the, the gas is coming through and I'm trying to create like a model that these guys can use so if they want to extend their mind uh, their mind or mine in a certain area they can use this model. model and they can um, essentially plan and mm. be like okay we can't mm. go there because chances are we're gonna get an explosion mm. so that's what I'm doing mm. can I ask you sorry in Bali how long would it take to draw up such a model like that <laughs> it's about two years now. <laughs> okay. yeah, I am it's a work in progress. <laughs> it, is, it is. I am currently, let me just switch this off. Okay. It took me, because um, you need to understand that I. Yeah. I it's a I lot came, of work. Okay. Yes. I, I came from a um, geology background. So, hardly any seismic background. You just have a few courses in honors, right? Um, so, it took me about, it's taken about six months to put this together. Because you go, you know that solid block, you go slice by slice. So I had a solid block, sure. which is uh, going that way, it's about a thousand and seven slices. Whoa. And going that way is plus minus 600. So <laughs> yeah, it took job. a while. <laughs> it, it even actually made me sick. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that I'm actually coming um, to the end of it. So yeah. Mm. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Thank you, buddy. So, what I'm basically trying to do is I'm basically trying um, to m create a model for um, a gold reef. So basically, I'm trying to find gold. What my project involves is basically um, breaking rocks up using cool equipment to break rocks up. So I'm basically measuring um, waves that travel through pieces of rock, trying to get their velocity. So physics, trying to get their velocity and also trying to apply pressure and seeing how that velocity is affected by things like um, pressure and whatnot. So you can imagine underground there's pressure. So we're basically trying to create a similar environment to see at what pressures these rocks um, actually break. So um, when I'm in the lab, I use equipment such as oscilloscope, similar, to the, if you can see it. it's similar to the ones that they use for like heart rates and stuff. Because they basically measure the same thing, like pulses. Really? So in wow. like hospitals, when you see that, it's basically <laughs> like that. So I basically measure these waves. And um, I also put the rocks in a pressure-confining system that looks like this. So this is where the magic happens. So what happens is I put my core sample in here. I apply pressure um, in this direction. And I watch and wait for the bang, and then I record at what pressure that happens. That can help because we can then tell the guys at the mines that, listen, at pressures like this, um, your rocks can burst or whatnot. And in addition to that, I'm in modeling um, my gold reef 
Um, so what this leads to um, is basically also something like Mbagi's where I get to create um, a model. So also X-ray of what um, the subsurface or what underground looks like. This is a gold reef um, that was interpreted by my supervisor. So um, you can imagine guys at the mines use this to know, okay, da 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 we need to go here, we'll find the gold reef. We need to go here, we'll find the gold. So that's basically our job. So um, in my model, I've basically interpreted um, this horizon. And from this, and using um, this horizon at the top, I'll basically know or um, interpret where the gold reef, where the gold reef is. Exactly. When you were in high school, I took up subjects like, um, I did geography, I did physics, um, I did pure maths, very important pure maths, and um, I did um, technical drawing, um, or um, graphic, mind you, yes, that. So how that helped is that when I, in my undergrad, I also did some mining engineering subjects. And in those subjects, we um, did EGD again, so it helped me to have that background. And it was compulsory um, when we took up, um, okay, well for me, because I wanted to specifically take the mining route and do some mining engineering subjects, I did um, uh, physics, and Bali did, I did geography, well, basically, I did geology, chemistry, yeah, and what else did I do? Geology, chemistry, uh, maths, and um, geography. Uh, I think the big thing for me and, and doing this project was the software. We get to work with really cool software, and it's one of the reasons until, um, up to honors, I took um, geographic information systems as well. So I work a whole lot on my computer, unlike her, who would probably have to go work in a mine, mm. i.e. the guy sitting at the desk, mm. busy on a computer. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's where we varied. And I took all science subjects in, in high school. Yeah. So mm. that's, yeah. that's important too. Um, but when you choose your subjects, um, also have in mind what it is that you want to do. Because we knew that, okay, we would do science or engineering subjects, so um, our, our subjects enabled us yeah. Um, to be accepted into those fields, mm. you know, so you pick things that are relevant to whatever career path that mm. you want to take. Yeah. What about um, job prospects for geophysicists? And geologists. And geologists, sorry. Who hires um, geologists? Oh, okay. Um, well, for geologists, basically, um, companies that basically deal with uh, rocks, underground, um, companies or mm. so, but the thing is you can work you don't necessarily have to work in a mine mm. to be a geologist so you can go into so you can go at the mine where you go underground so there's different types of mines as well so if you know you're not an underground person you can work on the mines that mine on surface you can work for exploration mm. companies so those are the companies that find where the gold is and then the mining companies or gold or whatever other minerals and then the mining companies extract. Mm -hmm. Also, you can work for petroleum companies such as Shell and BP and Total and... Um, particularly, sorry, particularly with what we're doing. Hmm. Um, very, hmm. yeah, geophysicists hmm. are um, in, in, in big demand in that um, industry. Hmm. And the one thing I'd also advise, because I... <laughs> I was like, it, you must explore your options when you're in varsity mm. in, in regards to, because I took up a few things here and there and it kind of led me here, you know. Um, there's sometimes, sometimes people just take normal streams, you know. If you can take a course in a different kind of, uh, like how she went into engineering and geosciences, you know, versus just geosciences. And I yeah. went into geography and GIS and geology. Yeah. So it, it gives you a broader um, playing field. And even when they're looking at your CV, they know that you're capable of um, adapting, learning, yeah. adapting and, and so learning adapting. different skills yeah. based on what you took up in varsity and what you did. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Very and like good. more for being on the mines. Like, does it freak you out being like the only chick and there's going to be like a bajillion other men? Because geoscience in general is, well, 
largely male dominated. Yeah. Adversity, there's it's mainly it's possibly fifty fifty yeah. adversity. It's actually in, in men are more more girls. There's yeah. a few yeah. more female. Yeah. 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 actually when you go into industry there's a lot it's, of men. It's very male. And dominated. it's it's usually there's such a disparity between um it's it's older <laughs> males and it's younger females. So, so there, there's there's mm. quite a gap. It's age in, and in, gender. It yeah. really is. Um, so, um, but it, they're in general quite friendly. Yes, yes. It's a different it's dynamic that yes. you're not used to. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to be okay. strong, which but will it, be fine. It's mm. not scary. It's okay. It's, yeah. It's, um, I don't know. It's, it's it all depends on you. Yeah. It's not difficult or impossible. It's challenging. And I mean, it puts it does put pressure on you to know your work and be on point because um, mm. before you even speak, some individuals will already start judging you on how you look or because mm. you're a female and all that. But that's okay because each and every industry has its own challenges. So yeah. it's science, but I mean, it's okay. Mm. So, mm. Awesome. Okay, cool. Oh, that's a I inspired you to take this box thing. Mm. Was it always something you grew up with? Um, love of rocks or? I, I think, uh, <laughs> I've, I always say I've always been an earth child. I, I yeah. love mud, I love, <laughs> my, my name mud means flower, yes, so yes. I, from, from birth. And so when I was in high school, I loved geography. And in grade 10, I think I decided I want to go into mining. And then I got here. And I was like, no, and then in 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 honors, uh, I it solidified that thing that because we we went on an honors field trip where we saw different mines and it was my first experience in you know all these different mines in South Africa and I was like I definitely don't want to do mining <laughs> you know but the the initial thing was just really a passion for geography mm -hmm. and um, the earth and yeah. 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 And, yeah in grade ten uh, um. I always wanted to be a mining engineer because my older brother is a mining engineer. But then in grade 10, I was invited to a woman in science and engineering conference. Mm. Um, and they told us about all these other careers, including geology, because I didn't know about geology. And that's when I basically um, started loving this geology, researched on this geology, asked around, what do geologists do, you know? Mm. What's the difference between geologists and mining um, engineers and because there was this whole science factor to geology um, that's basically how I related and also I like to get dirty. Summer and Buddy, <laughs> thank you very much.